This is Mike with the Motorcycle Showcase. Um, we're going to start doing some vlogging. So I just wanted to show you how I set up my helmet. So right now, I have a Pilot 3-in-1, the X04. Uh, it's Harley Davidson helmet. It's basically the Scorpion Covert. Um, and then Harley had him, you know, stick a Harley uh, symbol on it. So first we're going to do a disassembly. Um, I did mock up the vlog setup and test it today. So we're going to disassemble it and I'll just show you how I threw it together in this helmet. So is the face mask. And if you see, I have, um, the microphone is right in the mask. Um, so I'll take that off and show you what I did uh, to get that in there. Uh, second thing you gotta do, which is a pain, is hopefully we'll have a second view of this. Is we have to take out the inner lining of the helmet. Put that aside. Uh, then you'll see this uh, red latch here. So what you're going to have to do, and mine was a pain when I did this the first time, you're going to push this, and you're going to pull this part of the helmet. See the separation here? You're going to pull this part of the helmet off. That's a little bit of pain. Alright, so let me kind of run through... How I did this. Um, normally, you'd be able to run this thing kind of from the side or down on the chin guard out to the front of the helmet, um, and you'd have the camera right in front of your mouth. With this helmet um, and the face guard that it has, I didn't want to do that, um, put too much stress on there's magnets that hold it on, uh, so I didn't want to do that. So I mounted the camera as far forward as I could on the forehead right here, I then had to figure out because with your GoPros and I'm running a Hero 5 Black, you definitely need this jack um, to GoPro accessory, I believe you can only get it from them. Uh, so. That's what we did. Uh, actually, I watched Blockhead's video on how to do this, and mostly what I'm using is what he suggested. I'll put what I'm using in the uh, in the description below, but you definitely need this mount here. Um, so, again, what I did was uh, cameras mounted here. Basically. I worked out the best angle to connect this um, accessory, for lack of a better term, to the camera. Um, and then we did right to the side of the helmet, right behind the camera. Uh, keeps it all neat and tidy. Um, and it works pretty well. Tried it out today. So that will go right there. Um, so once you figure that out, the question was, how do I run it into, because I had to run it in the helmet and into the chin guard, into the face guard. So what I did, what I ended up having to do, and hopefully you can see this, is I took a hacksaw and I cut a groove into the helmet here. Um, and I also cut a groove into the neck roll, kind of where they pinch together. You can see that it's right where my finger is, right, right there. You can see it. I cut a crude groove so that the wire wouldn't get pinched. Um, after I did that, what I did was run my microphone, um, which all it is is a basic omnidirectional 
microphone right into this adapter. Say, uh, this one works pretty well, picks everything up. Um, you do need the, I think it's an RSS jack. Um, so you have your microphone coming in with this adapter here. So you need both, you have your microphone, you need this adapter to work with this. Um, after I did that, I went to the groove, basically measured out how much I needed um, to fit the groove. And I went right in. This is going to take me a second to get back in. Alright, so once you get your neck roll back on, um, connect the helmet to half shell. Just make sure you have some play here. Kind of make sure I could pull it a little bit um, so it's not pinched. You're going to end up with your microphone sticking out um, the front here. Uh, so all I did was take my. Guard back on, and like I said, this is tell my magnets it's not a solid face guard, so I didn't want to have something hanging off the front of it here, um, like most people do. I just didn't want the stress on it because um, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Also, it's a little hard to stick all that stuff on here, so um, put it up here, it's a little more secure. I did was I just took my uh, cord which I was left with and I um, kind of approximated where I wanted to put it back on there approximated about where I wanted to put it um, which I'll show you in a second but um, I rolled it up to the length I needed it. <laughs> I zip tied it and all I did was throw a piece of the same velcro used for the side helmet on there um, and again on the mic. You guys can see that just velcro it's literally just stuck on to both the microphone and the cord itself that's all wrapped up and on the inside of this is almost like a material uh, so what works well is you just take this microphone and you determine where the best position is for you, and you just stick it on. It's just duck on the face guard with uh, with uh, Velcro. All right, so this is my setup. Uh, this is how I uh, ended up doing it. Um, works very well for me. Um, I will sh throw a picture up to show you what the camera looks like on it. It's decently compact. It's not the same as having it on the front, but again, with this face mask. I didn't want to put it on the front. It was kind of hard to do. So it does work very well this way. I tested it this morning. Um, <clears throat> audio's good. Audio's clear. You can actually hear the bike pretty well too. So it's a good mix of everything. Um, I will put links to everything I used on this and the helmet itself, uh, including the Scorpion version. Um, I believe it's called the Covert, but I'll put the links down there. Um, other than that, uh, make sure you go take a look at my website. Uh, it's www.themotorcycleshowcase.com. Um, it's there for you to use as you wish. Uh, embed your YouTube links, post your photos, list all of your modifications. Um, follow us on Instagram. Um, all those links will pop up now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.